Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 13.1, Integrating X to the Power N. 13.1 represents Chapter 13, Section 1 of the Person A Level Maths, Pure Maths, Year 1, Textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Ladies and gents, going from Y to DY of DX is called the process of differentiation. Going from DY of DX back to Y is called the process of integration. So integration is the reverse of differentiation. Alternatively, you can rewrite the Y as F of X. Going from f of x to f dash of x is called differentiation. Going from f dash of x back to f of x is called integration. How do we differentiate polynomials? Well, basically, you bring down the power n and you multiply by the coefficient. Then you subtract one from the power. Since integration is the reverse of differentiation, integrating polynomials involves adding one to the power, then dividing by the new power. Let's formalize this. If dy of dx is equal kx to the power n, where k is a constant, then y is obtained by integrating your dy with dx. In other words, integrating kx to the power n. You take your power n and you add 1 to it. This gives us n plus 1. And then you divide by n plus 1. Plus c, the constant of integration. n is not equal to minus 1. n is a constant. Now, if n is equal minus 1, if you substitute that into here, you'll get mass error. Alternatively, you can rewrite the dy with dx as f dash of x, and you can rewrite the y as f of x. Moving on to the next crucial rule. If f dash of x is equal a for some constant a, then f of x is equal ax plus c, where c is your constant of integration. This is true. Why? Because if you take ax plus c and you differentiate this with respect to x, you get precisely f dash of x equal a. So if you're integrating a constant a with respect to x, it will just be ax plus c. These are the key facts of 13.1 integrating x to the power n. I'll be implementing these key facts within exam style question 1 and exam style question 2. Let's have a look at exam style question 1. Okay, so what does it say? Ladies and gents, find y given that dy of dx is equal 2x plus 3 in bracket to the power 2. Now, before we start integrating, we need to expand the double brackets. Let's first of all write it as dy of dx equal 2x plus 3 multiplied by 2x plus 3. Let's expand the double brackets. So we have dy of dx is equal 4x squared plus 6x plus 6x plus 9. Simplify this by collecting like terms. We get 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. So now I'm going to work out y. So y equal. y is obtained by integrating the dy of dx with respect to x. So we're going to do term by term integration. Let's start off with 4x squared. We have 4x to the power 2 plus 1, divide by 2 plus 1. Now, moving on to the second term, we have plus 12x to the power 1 plus 1, divide by 1 plus 1. Moving on to the third term, we have plus 9x. If we uh, integrate 9 with respect to x, it is just 9x. Plus c, the constant of integration. Now we're going to simplify this. We get y equal 4x to the power 3 over 3 plus 12 divided by 2 is 6, x to the power 2 plus 9x plus c, the constant of integration. Right, so when dy of dx is equal to 2x plus 3 in brackets to the power 2, y is equal to this polynomial. Moving on to exam style question 2. Find f of x given that f dash of x is equal to this particular polynomial. Right, okay, so we've got f dash of x equal 3x to the power minus 2 plus 6x to the power half plus x minus 4. Now to work out f of x, we need to integrate f dash of x. In other words, we need to integrate this beautiful polynomial. We're going to do term by term integration. Let's start off with the first term. So we add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. Second term, plus 6x to the power a half plus 1, divide by a half plus 1. Plus x to the power 1 plus 1, divide by 1 plus 1, minus 4x plus c, the constant of integration. We can simplify this. Okay, so let's have a look at this. We need 3 over minus 2 plus 1. 
So minus 2 plus 1 is just minus 1. 3 divided by minus 1 is just minus 3. So we've got minus 3 x to the power minus 2 plus 1 minus 1. Okay, next term, we've got positive 6 over a half plus 1. So a half plus 1 is just 3 over 2. We do 6 divided by 3 over 2. Right, so 6 divided by 3 over 2 is 4. x to the power, a half plus 1, which is 3 over 2. Plus, okay, so now over here, the coefficient of x over here is 1. We take positive 1 and we divide by 1 plus 1. That would just be 1 over 2 x to the power 1 plus 1 which is 2 minus 4x plus c the constant of integration okay so if f dash of x is equal to this polynomials f of x is equal to this that is your f of x ladies and gents this completes exam style question 1 and exam style question 2 and this teaching video 13.1 integrating x to the power n if you found this teaching video useful please don't forget to subscribe leave a like leave a comment Turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.